Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Day. The Everton are chasing the signature of Fortuna Dusseldorf and Japanese midfielder O Tanaka. Uh, Genoa and Parma are also interested in the player as well as a number of German clubs that is according to an Italian news outlet today. Uh, he scored eight goals and had three assists last season for Dusseldorf. Uh, they missed out in the playoff final. He's 25 years of age. He's won 26 caps for Japan and has scored eight goals. So the links are going to continue to these players. Uh, obviously, Everton are awaiting a, well, new takeover news now, aren't we, really? The triple seven deadline finished over the weekend. Uh, but Kevin Thelwell and Sean Dyche, I'm sure, are still pressing ahead with what they can do. And Kevin Thelwell will be seeing what deals he can get uh, in place, really. I think there'll be, obviously, a small amount of money that Everton will be able to use at the moment. But then that will hopefully be boosted if they're selling uh, some of the players that we're reportedly selling. Uh, and moving on to that, one of those players is a uh, Belgian midfield player, Amadou Onana. Arsenal reportedly following... Uh, him with interest ahead of a potential approach this summer. That is according to reports today. Onana is part of the Belgian squad, will play in Germany in the Euros. Uh, is thought to be available at around £50 to £55 million. Pound. Uh, Everton target Omari Benjamin has officially been released by Arsenal. They have uh, put Published their release list this morning. He is available on a free transfer and could move to Everton. He spent some time on trial with the club in April, playing the game against Tottenham Hotspur and also scored in that game. Obviously, if Everton were to sign him, he would come in as a part of Everton's under-21 squad and uh, develop there. And, you know, obviously we'll have to see how he goes from there. He was highly rated. He's played for Wales as well. Um... So, yeah, I mean, Everton are trying to get younger players into the squad again, into the 21, trying to bring players in. We were linked with Daniel Jebison, the Sheffield United striker, last Friday, I think it was. Uh, he's another one who Everton have followed for a few years, but he's thought to be available as well, and Everton have got an interest in him. So, we'll see. did, of course, score the winner against Everton. I think it was on his full debut uh, when Sheffield United beat Everton three seasons ago, I think it was now. Uh, Everton fans and the club have been sending their best wishes to former Everton striker Kevin Campbell after the club confirmed over the weekend he has been unwell. Uh, here at Toffee TV, we've had the pleasure of spending time with Kevin on quite a few occasions uh, and we're all sending our best wishes to him and his family and wishing him a speedy recovery. And finally, former Everton manager Carlo Ancelotti won his fifth Champions League uh, trophy as a manager over the weekend. Real Madrid beat Borussia Dortmund 2-0 at Wembley Stadium on Saturday. It was Carlo Ancelotti's seventh Champions League in his career. Of course, won two as a player. So huge, uh, huge congratulations to Carlo. Of course, we all still miss him. It feels weird, doesn't it? Three years ago, he was our manager and since then, He's gone on to win La Liga and won two Champions League since returning to Real Madrid. Um, but yeah, very, uh, very good achievement, isn't it? Unbelievable achievement for one of the best managers ever. Is he? Is he the greatest manager ever? He's won a lot of Champions League, that's for sure. So congratulations to Carlo and, of course, to David, uh, his son as well, who was also a key part of Everton's backroom staff when they were here. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member where you don't get any adverts on podcasts or videos, the link is in the description. QR code's on the screen now. See you later.